it is one half the height and then the sum of the two bases. That's how you find the area of a trapezoid. Just wanted to share that with you really quickly. The one half, um, this is essentially one half base times height. Just like in a triangle, one half base times height. Because it's, because it's made up of so many different triangles, we can say that it's going to be similar to the formula of a triangle. But since there's two bases, there's a shorter one and a longer one, we need to find the sum of the total bases. And so then it's B1 plus B2. So that is your trapezoid formula. Does anyone have any questions about this? Then I'm going to switch over. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So today, um, I was trying to think of how to like make this a nice, fun last day. Um, I decided on bingo. So we're going to be playing bingo. Um, and what you're going to have to do is I will have on our screen, there will be um, like slides with a question posted on them. What you'll have to do is answer the question, do the work. If you find the answer on your bingo card, then you can cross it off. Um, has anyone not played bingo before? Everyone's familiar with bingo, right? Yeah. So usually you can call out like a B8 and then you get that square. But instead, what we're going to do is you have to answer that math question to get to that math square. Um, all of these questions are questions that you've already seen before. There's a lot of qu uh, questions from the quizzes that we've taken. Um, there's also stuff on the areas that we've been learning. Um, but they're all, for those questions, I took them either from a practice question that you had or an example question that I was giving. So it's all stuff that you've seen before. Okay, so with that being said, everyone has a bingo card, right? Choose one. If you have all eight, that's fine. Just choose one. You can use any random one. If you haven't printed it, you can print any of the random eight. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, any questions? Everyone ready? Everyone has bingo cards? Okay, so the first shape we are going to be going for is a five by five. So the first shape we're going to be going for is a diagonal. Um, it can be a diagonal across from left to right or, or from bottom to top or from top to bottom. Doesn't matter, it's up to you. to the problem is on your bingo card market first person to get the correct row right now we're going for diagonals win all right here's your first question what is the formula for the area of a triangle Go ahead and mark it. 
What do we use to mark it? You can use just like a pencil, whatever you okay. want. Yeah. Does a marker work? Yeah. Okay. Maggie, are you raising your hand? No. Okay. Just making sure. sure what's going on. What is the area of the shaded region of this parallelogram? for the thing or can we just go straight across um right now i'm looking for a diagonal but if okay. you have the answer you can still mark it okay thank you <laughs> okay what did you all get for this one Use the formula from the first question. Plug in all these numbers. Was this on the homework? Yeah, it might have been. It was either on the homework or the slide that I shared with you. Okay. 
I don't know you can thank you in the background because it'll be one kids and one kids. Okay, what did you all get? I got 110. Is that correct? 110. Oh, you got 120. I got 110. 110? 110? Anyone else got something different? I got 110, but I don't see it. Okay, you may not have it on your card. 125. 125. Okay. I, I don't know if that's right. I just think it's around there. Yeah, no, that's fine. You're good. Anyone else? I got one egg. What did you all get for this? I can't see it's for this whole triangle, right? The green mm -hmm. and the red, uh, and the green and the white part. Just the it? green. Oh, okay, just the green. Mm -hmm. This was a, um, it was like a, it was a practice mm -hmm. question, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, remember yesterday I said that this, this part gets moved over here, so this, we need the height to find the accurate height. It can't be slanted, we need the total height. Mm -hmm up and down. So this area, this red triangle is just telling us the height. Ian, what did you get? 54. 54? Okay. Anyone else? I think it's roughly around 75. Estimated. I'm estimating it. Okay. 50. Anyone else? 50. 50? It showed on the screen. 54. 54? Yeah, actually... No, I don't think it's 54. I think it's a little more than that. I got 54. Okay, so let's see. I got 54 too. Okay, great. So we have a base of 12. And then our height is 9. So 12 times 9 is... 108. <laughs> 108 divided by 2. 108 divided by 2. 2 goes into 10 5 times. 2 goes into 4 8 times. So 54. I also don't have that on my card. You said you were talking about the whole triangle. Like, I mean, just the green part. Yeah, just the green part. So Not the base of the green you triangle. Said 54 if it was the whole flat. Because how is that white part half of the green part? The white part no, isn't no. half of it. Our formula, remember, is one half base times height. So um, because a triangle, we can make two triangles inside a rectangle. So the formula for a triangle is one half base times height. So then when we do that, we have one half base times height. So when our base right here is 12, that's what we plug in for the B. And then our height right here is nine. So we plug this in for nine. Yeah. 
-hmm. Does that make more sense? Possibly. Yeah, we're not counting this. This is red, so it's, uh, it's white, so we're not counting this part. But the reason why we need to use this nine is because to find the height of a triangle, it has to be straight up and down. It can't be slanted. This doesn't tell us anything. This just tells us one of the sides of the triangle. But if it were straight up and down from its highest point, going all the way down, that's our height. are going to then be in 48 feet. All right, anyone have an answer? What did you all get? Are you still working on it? Um, I got 11.263. I got 4.3. Okay, great. Anyone else? I did it wrong, that's why. <laughs> Anyone else? All right. So there's 1.609 kilometers in one mile, and we're trying to find the kilometers. So we're going to use this conversion factor with 1.609 in the numerator. Multiply that by 7. So it's really just 7 times uh, 1.609. And you should get 11.263. Luke, are these other ones showing up on your bingo card? I don't have this one. Yeah, you might not have one of them. Or you might not have, I think it was up to like five of them you might not have. Which is totally fine. You just, you don't get this one. <laughs> okay. Um, so now we're moving on to percentages. Find 30% of 75. Luke, are these other ones showing up on your card? 
Yeah, I just got disconnected for a little bit. You're good. But yeah, 16 and uh, 11.26 we have. Okay, great. So we're finding 30% of 75 now. Okay, what did you all get? Wait, what did I get? Mm-hmm. 22. 22.5. 22. 22. 22. 22.5. Anyone else? Great, yeah. 22.5. 22.5. Awesome. So you can turn the 30% into a fraction and multiply across. You could also turn this, we didn't learn this, but you could also turn this into a decimal. 30% in decimal form is 0 0.3. And then you can multiply 75 by 0 0.3. So many different ways to do this. But yeah, 22.5, that's what I got too. Alrighty. What number, or 5% of what number is 10? 5% of what number is 10? So we're looking for this number right here. When multiplied by 5%, or when you take 5% of that number, you would get 10. What did you get? 50. 50. Anyone else? I got 200. 200? 200. 200. Anyone else? 200. Anyone else? Okay. So when we get 5%, we... Ian, do you need something? Ian? What? You're frozen. I mean, you're muted. I got 50. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Great. Thanks. I got 200. 200. Anyone else? So when we take 5% of a number, we have 5 over 100 of a number. And we know that this number is going to be 10 of something. Mm -hmm. So what we can do is multiply. We're looking, we're trying to look for this number down here. So 5 to 10, you have to multiply by 2. So 100, you're also going to have to multiply by 2. So x equals 200. I feel like some of you might want to just multiply 5 times 10 to get 50. That's the right idea. Um, you're on the right path, but we're actually looking for what's 5 to 10. You have to multiply by 2. So 100 to 200, you're going to multiply by 2 as well. So the answer should have been 200. Okay, 60, 62% of what number is 31? Has anyone gotten bingo yet? No? Okay. 62% of what number is 31? Same concept, different numbers.
cute for some. One and one six times. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move a bit faster. Seven fifteenths. Okay. Anyone else? I go seven fifteenths. Seven fifteenths. All right. Great. simplest form. Remember, be careful of PEMDAS. What do we have, or uh, what do we have to do first before we do the other stuff? Does anyone have bingo yet? No. No? No. Mm. I have like missing like one space. Like there's like one little space I need. <laughs> you too, Austin. That's funny. I use this website to make these bingo cards. I, I, I've been one away for like I think six. <laughs> if you're using board, I think it's board three. You, you might agree with it. Yeah. Some of I don't know what it is. I, it's either three or four. I need three and three fifths. I need. I need seven, seven six. Seven six. Okay. You what? 
Miss Tom. Yeah, Phoebe. Um, I got bingo. You did? Yay! Which ones? Um, which which numbers? What are what were your answers? Um, fifty four, twenty two point five, mm, three, two hundred and thirty two. Three. Where did you get three? Oh, like the middle. Oh, three. Oh, I thought you said three. I was like, three. And 200 and what? 200? Just like 200. Just 200? <gasps> Yay! Phoebe, which card is that? Um. Do you remember? Or it's all mixed up now? <laughs> I think it's all mixed up. That's okay. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Um, We're going to keep playing for a bit. And then, um. I have what? a uh, survey that I would like to fill out. Did anyone else have bingo? Only Phoebe picked that card? Okay, what did you all get for no, this? I have bingo. You have bingo, Ian? No, I don't. Okay. Um, what did you all get for this problem? I got 10 and 2 sevens. 10 and 2 sevens. So Phoebe, you can just keep going. You can try getting diagonal the other way or something. Um, yeah. Great. It's now that the it's good to know that the bingo cards work. <laughs> All right. Here's your next one. Four and a half divided by one and one. Wait, um, I have one question before we start. Yeah. Um, did we get 38 as one? 38. No. Okay. Uh, no. We had a 32, but not a 38. Okay, because I was, I was, I would get a bingo if I did get. If I oh. Had a <laughs> No, not yet. <laughs> and I know we got a 30-something, so I was just... Yeah, 32. It was our shaded parallelogram. Okay, four and a half divided by one and one-fourth. We have to do something to the fraction before we can actually divide it across. this process up a bit so we know we have four and a half um so we're going to turn this mixed number into an improper fraction so that we can actually 
simply divide it across. So four times two is eight, plus one is nine. Nine over two divided by four times one is four plus one is five. So five over four. So now we can divide this. Skip, flip, multiply. Nine over two times four over five. You can simplify here to one and two. You get 18 over five. Which simplified to, let me make sure I did the right thing. Yeah. Did anyone else get this? I got three and three fifths. Yeah, it simplified down to three and three fifths. Okay. Five goes into 18 three times for 15. And then we have three left over. So you get three and three fifths. Great. Anyone bingo now? All right. I have, I have four that I'm really close to. I need two more. And then I have one where I'm just, I only need one. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and add this one now. 6.329 plus 14.38. Remember, what happens with our decimal? Did anyone else get that? Yeah, I, I got a 1.335. Because if it is, it just adds to another one. Yeah, same. What, 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 number, what number board are you using? I think we might use the same one. Is there a number? Or is there a same There's number? no number on there, but if it Wait, was like printed need, out. Um, Austin, do you need 0 0.93 for that one? I, I would rather I buy <laughs> no one's there. For me, 0 0.93 is to top middle. Top, top row. Oh, uh, yeah. We don't have the same one. Uh, okay. That, if I get that one, that'll be, I'll have one away in my third place. Uh, I would, never mind. Oh, oh my God. I got a move. Is that me? Not this. I didn't know your face was still there. <laughs> right. 1.335, that was the answer. No bingos yet. <laughs> All right. What's the reciprocal of four fifths? Easy peasy. Um, five over four. Yeah, nice. Anyone else? It's five fourths and I'm easy peasy. <laughs> All 
All right. Um, divide. This is a bit complex. Divide three fifths. Divided by four sevenths. Divided by nine tenths. And I think this is the last one that we're gonna do for now. We have time at the end. Come back. Anyone get bingo with this one? So you're all really close. <laughs> That's funny. Ooh, I, I think I might have it. Yeah? Maybe. It, 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 if it's if it's at seven six, I got it. Seven six? Yeah. Okay. But then I got it too if it's seven six. Oh whoa. You guys are the same card. No, we don't have the same card, but I think we have, like, close to the same card. Similar. Yeah. Anyone else get 7-6? Seven, 7-6. Six? No? No. Okay. Well, yeah, that was the answer. So you two got bingo. Nice! Yeah. How many of you have got, got it? Before so us. We had Phoebe who got it, and then yeah. you two. Yeah. Great. Okay, so I'm going to stop there. Um, there's, I had so many more questions planned, but we just ran out of time. <laughs> um, what I'm going to do now is I have a, um, okay. Um, I have a survey that I would really, really like you to fill out. Um, so I really, really want you to fill it out so much so that I save 10 minutes of class just for this. So I'm going to post the link Actually, it should be in our stream. Let me see. But before, yeah, it was posted about a minute ago. But before you go to that, I just wanted to say thank you for such a um, awesome poly summer. I know it was online. It was kind of weird. Um, but I think we definitely made the most of it. I hope you learned um, a lot. I definitely learned a lot too, both about being virtual online and about teaching math to different types of students like all of you. Um, so I just wanted to congratulate all of you on a great job. You made it poly summer, 20 days, well, 19 days. 19 days of just math, math, math. <laughs> so if any of you have any questions, you can email me. Otherwise, um, I will post so this is gonna be our exit ticket. So once you submit your answer, I'll um, I'll let you know that I got it and then you can go. So I'm gonna send you the link. I'll put it in our Zoom chat. Um, if it doesn't work for you there, it's on our Google Classroom. And then once I receive your uh, response, everyone see that in the chat? Once I receive your response and, I'm say, and I say, okay, you're good to go, then you can go. Isabella, I'm going to share it with you right now in case you're interested. <laughs> okay. Everyone sees it, right? No one has any issues getting to it?
like so what like, um which question was it it's like what what aspects of class so like what parts what parts of class really helped you the same thing or like what little things in class helped you what what parts i guess is really the best answer <laughs> Olivia, thank you. Have a nice rest of your summer. Right, I, I thought it out. Should I have? Wait, let me see. Yep, I got yours, Austin. Thank you. Have a nice summer. I think I said you nine. Uh, let me see your grade now. Yep, I just got it. Awesome. Thanks, Sean. Bye. Right, thank you. Thank you. Have a great Have summer. A good... Yeah, you too. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> okay. Lucas and Maddie. Bye. See y'all. <laughs> Have a nice summer. Thank you. Thank you. Luke, you too. Have a great summer. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Bye. Great work. Bye. Thank you. Oh, my. So I've been mine. Yeah. I just saw it. I was going to say bye, Miles. <laughs> Thank you. Did you get mine? Uh, not. Oh, I just got it. Thanks, Phoebe. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.